Hey guys, and welcome back to my Night. channel, and Jason welcome back to a new the week of dinners. I hope this inspires you to cook new dinners every night, too. Okay, on Monday night, we have spaghetti and meatballs. The first thing I did was took the turkey meatballs and put them in the pan along with some vodka sauce. If you guys have never had vodka sauce, it is delicious. We absolutely love it. Normally, I make my own sauce, but ever since I found this stuff, I no longer have to make my own. I just pop that in a pan and put a lid on it and make sure it gets nice and warm. And then I put my bread on a, on a sheet pan as well, 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes. And then I make my noodles. I put extra virgin olive oil on top and serve. Yummy and delicious and super easy dinner. Tuesday night is a steak and wrap with some french fries and Jason had a little bit of macaroni salad. First I'm going to take this all-purpose rub and put it all over my steak and meat. In order to drain the grease off my meat I just stuck some napkins on a bowl and drained it and then i took some cheese mayonnaise and wrap with, along with some steak and put them into the wraps and wrapped them up and then i just made some french fries for the side and some hush puppies for the girls because they love them well jason and sophia are having some steakums with cheese and mayonnaise some french fries with ketchup and jason is having some macaroni salad Sophia's plate over here looks humongous, but she's having the same wrap, a couple of hush puppies, some french fries, mac and cheese, and barbecue beans. Allison's having the same exact thing except for the wrap. For the next night, I wanted to make something new, so I went ahead and made some orange chicken, but first I got started with the brown rice. Once we got the rice started, we went ahead and started on the chicken. I have an egg in one bowl, panko in another, and flour in the third bowl. You're going to take your cut up chicken, you're going to put it in the flour, then the egg mixture, and then the panko mixture. I put mine in the air fryer on 400 degrees for about five to seven minutes, and it was done. Delicious, so good. If you guys don't have an air fryer, I highly recommend one. Next, you're gonna take some orange marmalade and some soy sauce and some barbecue sauce of your choice. Mix it up, stirring until it's all warmed up, and then I made a side salad. Guys, while I'm finishing up the chicken, Jason wanted his like this. He wanted a salad with chicken on top and some dressing. Allison just wanted salad with dressing. Sophia wanted a salad, some nuggets, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of white rice next to it. Here is my plate. I have the orange chicken that I made with some brown rice and the salad. Doesn't that look so good? And it's low fat and calories too. The next night I made the girls' favorite breakfast for dinner. We had some pancakes with syrup, some eggs, bacon and hash browns. I had fried eggs, Jason had fried eggs, Sophia had scrambled, and Allison had an omelet. Next up is a good old pizza homemade. You can't beat a homemade pizza. My mom used to make this all the time. This is a special little kit that she used to bring home and I seen it in the store and just had to get it. So Sophia helped me make it. It is crust and then it comes with some pizza sauce. You have to add your own Alfredo, of course, because Allison and I love Alfredo pizza. And then you have to add your own cheese. They do give you this packet, but it's definitely not enough cheese. So make sure you have enough if you want lots and lots of cheese. We baked it for 350 degrees for about 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Sophia added some pepperoni to hers and it was delicious. And it brought back a lot of memories. And finally, for the last night, we had some honey mustard chicken. First thing I did was took some chicken, added some salt and pepper to it, took some yellow mustard, some honey, and also some ground mustard, add that to a bowl, mixed it up real well, and then added it to the chicken. I set my oven at 350 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes, or until your chicken is completely cooked. Now for my sides, I just made some pierogies. You just heat them up in a pan. I also made some peas from a can and added a little salad to it. And I just took my chicken and added it to my salad. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.